Bonjour à tous. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Learn French with Madame. Today, we are going to talk about Bien dit un chapitre 4, vocabulaire de un magasin de fourniture scolaire. So in our previous video, we talked about school supplies such as une gomme, une règle, un sac à dos, un crayon et un stylo. Today, we're going to talk about some phrases that you might need when you are in a school supply store asking to buy things, okay? So let's go ahead and start. Our first word is de quoi tu as besoin? What do you need? So if we were in a school supply store and the salesperson could ask de quoi tu as besoin? What do you need? All right, so go ahead and let's repeat this word. We're gonna say two, two, and then one. All right, here we go. De quoi tu as besoin? Excellent. All right, let's say the whole phrase now. Here we go. De quoi tu as besoin? Excellent. All right, our next one is j'ai besoin de trois classeurs. So if the last vocab word meant what do you need, what do you think j'ai besoin de trois classeurs mean? Take a guess. What do you think this word means? We, oui, I need, and then three binders, for example. So, j'ai besoin de, that word that's in bold, means I need. So, we could say, j'ai besoin d'une règle, I need a ruler. And we could say, j'ai besoin d'un crayon, I need a pencil. And we can just switch out whatever word it is that we need. All right, so let's go through and let's say just this part in bold. So, répétez après moi, repeat after me, j'ai besoin de... Excellent. All right, our next word, qu'est-ce qu'il te faut pour les maths? Qu'est-ce qu'il te faut pour les maths? Ça, c'est similaire de de quoi tu as besoin. It's similar to what do you need. It's pretty much meaning the same thing, just asking it a different way. So, qu'est-ce qu'il te faut pour les maths? What do you need for math? All right. So let's go through and repeat this together. We're going to say, qu'est-ce qu'il te faut pour les maths? All right, we're going to start off with qu'est-ce qu'il, then we'll say te faut, then pour les maths. All right, so répétez après moi, qu'est-ce qu'il te faut pour les maths? Excellent. Okay, let's say it a little bit quicker. We're going to say everything in bold, and then we're going to say les maths at the end. All right. Répétez après moi. Repeat after me. Here we go. Qu'est-ce qu'il te faut pour les maths? Excellent. Très bien. All right. So what do you need for math? Our next one, il me faut une calculatrice. So we just had a question asking, qu'est-ce qu'il te faut pour les maths? And now we're responding, il me faut une calculatrice. So what do you think il me faut means? We oui, I need. So il me faut une calculatrice means I need and then a calculator. I could also say il me faut un livre. I need a book. Or il me faut une règle. I need a ruler. That il me faut is our vocab word meaning I need. Okay? Tu pourrais me prêter ta règle. Tu pourrais me prêter is asking, do you have or can you lend me a ruler? So, tu pourrais me prêter ta règle, can you lend me your ruler? We could switch it out and say any vocab word that we need, but tu pourrais me prêter, can you lend me? Tu pourrais me prêter. All right, we're going to say the words that are in bold. We're going to say two words and then two words, okay? So, répétez après moi. On y va. Here we go. Tu pourrais me prêter. Excellent. Très bien. Okay. Tu as un crayon à me prêter. It's similar to the last one that we did. Tu as un crayon, we should know, means you have a pencil. And à me prêter, that I can borrow or that you can lend me. Either one works. Tu as un crayon à me prêter that I could borrow or that you can lend me, okay? We're just going to say the last two words, last four words in bold. So, répétez après moi, à 
me prêter. Excellent, excellent. Okay, tiens un voilà. When you've used voila in English, what did it mean? Think about that. So tiens un voila have the same meaning. They both mean here. So if somebody hands you something, you might hear them say tiens, or you might hear them say voila. All right, so let's say these two words together. We're going to say the first one and then the bottom one, okay? So répétez après moi, tiens, voila, excellent, okay? Désolé, we should remember from the beginning of the school year, means sorry. So désolé, sorry, je n'ai pas de livre. We should already know that that means I don't have any books. Je n'ai pas de livre, I don't have any books. So that's a little bit of review from the beginning of the year as well, with that je n'ai pas de, I don't have any. So désolé, je n'ai pas de livre, I don't have any books. Okay, la prochaine, je cherche. Je cherche is I'm looking for. So je cherche une trousse, s'il vous plaît. I'm looking for a pencil case, please. Je cherche une trousse, s'il vous plaît. I'm looking for a pencil case. All right, so let's just say that word in bold. So répétez après moi, je cherche. Excellent. Formidable. Très bien. Okay, de calculer. De calculer. What do you think I am asking here? De calculer. What do you think I'm asking? Oui, what color? So, de quel couleur, what color? De quel couleur? All right, go ahead and say this word après moi, after me. Here we go. De quel couleur? Formidable. Très bien. Okay, so now we're going to talk about prices and how much something costs. So, I have in the bottom corner here a little dollar sign. Whenever you see this, it means that we're asking about prices and how much something costs. So we have la trousse, c'est combien? This is probably the easiest way to ask how much something costs. But we have la trousse, the pencil case, c'est combien? How much is it? So look, the pencil case, it's how much, or the pencil case, how much is it? But c'est combien is going to be your vocab word. Okay, so répétez après moi, c'est combien? Très bien. All right. Moving on, c'est... 16 dollars 80. So if you don't remember numbers, now is pretty much a good time to review those and look back through the video lesson and find the one about numbers for uh, this <laughs> next coming part because we're going to be talking about prices a lot and you're going to need to know those numbers. And pretty soon here we're going to add on more numbers because last time we had only talked about 1 through 50. So you want to make sure that you know um, 1 through 50 really well so that way when we start talking about higher numbers that you don't get lost with the lower numbers. Okay, so say just means it is. So say says dollar 80. It's sixty dollars and eighty cents. Sixteen dollars and eighty cents. Say says dollar 80. It's sixteen dollars eighty cents. All right. That first word in bold is pronounced just like say. Like if I like the letter C in French or if I want to tell you say this that the word say. So, say says dollar 80. Okay, la prochaine, il ou elle est à combien, le stylo ou la règle? So, you can switch this out with whatever subject pronoun you need for whatever gender your item is, but il ou elle est à combien? I'm just asking, how much is it? So, I could say, il est à combien, le stylo? How much is the pen? I could also say, elle est à combien, la règle, how much is the ruler, but il ou elle est à combien. Remember, when we have a consonant like the T and then a vowel like the A, that we link those two together. So instead of saying, il est à combien, we say, il est à combien. We link that T to that vowel, that A. So just a little hands up if you hear that sound, it's me linking the words together. Okay, la prochaine, il ou elle est à 100 euros. 
So now we just asked how much is it? So this is us responding and saying it is, and then our number. So il est à 100 euros, meaning it is 100 euros. Say share, that's expensive. Say share, that's expensive. Okay, aussi, je vous en prie, c'est similaire de de rien. So remember what de rien means from the beginning of this year. De rien meaning you're welcome. Je vous en prie, c'est presque la même. It's the same thing, you're welcome. Je vous en prie, you're welcome. Je vous en prie. All right, we're going to go through and say these together. So I'm going to say it and then I want you to say it. Okay, here we go. Je vous en prie. Excellent. Remember, too, when we have an S and a vowel together, it makes that Z sound. So, je vous en prie. So, that vous en makes a Z sound. Je vous en prie. Okay? And à votre service, à votre service, at your service or you're welcome. Je, à votre service literally means at your service. But it also would just mean you're welcome if you don't want to be super formal. À votre service. All right, so répétez après moi. À votre service. Formidable. Très bien. Et c'est tout. That's all of the vocab for this unit, this chapter. So you've learned it all. This is the last video lesson for a school supplies vocab. I hope that this isn't too hard, but if you need to rewatch the video lesson, if you need to, there's also some study links posted. But si vous avez des questions, envoyez-moi un email, mais c'est tout et à plus.